The next question type is a correct words in a sentence question type. Here, students have to indicate words and correct them or remove them in the sentences that are given. Click here on the question and start configuring. So this is my question. Correct the mistakes in the sentence. Click on the words to correct them or remove them if necessary. Here I'm going to add my text. This can be one sentence or this can be a, a, a longer piece of text. You can see that I already did some things and I'm going to explain how you can configure this question right. Of course, always take a look here. Here you can click on learn more and it will also be explained to you what I'm about to say right now. So here, whenever there's a word that is wrong, so in this case, one night a beer came into the city of Vancouver in Canada. It should be a bear, of course. So if students will have to correct this word, what you're going to do is put this word between brackets, like this. And the first word is wrong. And that is the word that your students are going to see. And of course, you have to indicate to the computer what is right. Uh, and if they, if your students are correcting the word, uh, it should be corrected good. So what should be corrected good by book widgets? So we're going to add like this. And then we're going to add the correct word. So we have the wrong word. This is what students are going to see. And this is how it should be created, about, uh, how it should be corrected by your students. And uh, let's see if I have other things I could, should change. Here we have shops. This is what students see. And they should correct it using shops and a comma. Then we have here, someone saw the bear and yelled the police. Or it's yelled at the police, but I think um, I think the word here, yelled, should be something else. It could be called the police. And of course, some students could also say, okay, they called police or they alerted the police. So I could say, I could uh, grade both correct by adding two hashtags and say, alerted the police. Like this. In this case, book widgets will grade both corrections by students correct. Um, then here, this is okay, so they can see two. It should be two with just one O. And then the the bear. So this means that there are two thus. So they should delete one the. And if you want them to delete one of them, um, then you just Add it here and just add this and this. So this means that they don't have to correct it, but they just have to remove the word. Um, and you have to indicate it like this. Of course, it could be the same that they are removing this one as well. This is something um, that could be not very clear for students and where grading goes wrong. Of course, in book widgets, you can always grade afterwards as well um, and take a look at the points they were given by book widgets and you can still overwrite the scores later on. Here again, when you go down, you can make all words editable. So what does this mean? In this case, when you don't make all words editable, students can click on the words, here on every words in a sentence. And if they click on restaurant, for example, and they don't have to create it, then book widgets would say that that word is correct. So students immediately know that this is a word that they don't have to correct. Um, so it's, it's easier for students if you don't enable this option. If you enable this option, students can click on any word in this piece of text and they can correct any word as well. So they, it's a little bit harder for students if they, because they really can correct every word here. If not, um, if you disable this, students can only correct the words that are between those um, brackets. Case insensitive or not here, this might be something you should have to do when you are teaching a spelling lesson. And of course, 
um, when students have to grade words that are written without a capital letter and you want them to correct them with a capital letter, then you should make it case sensitive. Um, if it's not important, it doesn't matter. You can make it case insensitive. Of course, we have the ignore accents as well uh, that you can choose to. When we go down, we have the normal extra options that are available in every single question type in book widgets. You can add a rationale, you can add a hint, audio, image, you can add numbering, and of course, the scoring options are important as well. Click on it. And then there are uh, different scoring policies. In this case, you can uh, students can score points for each wrong word which is corrected and deduct points for each right words that they corrected as well that was not necessary. Then um, they can also score points for just each correct word. So these are two things you can choose from. I'm just going to click here, score points for each wrong word which is corrected and deduct points for each right word that is corrected. Um, you can add the scoring weight uh, like here. And then you can add a wrong answer weight. And this means that if, uh, if students corrected a word that was already right and correct, then they can get, they lose something. They points are deducted and you could say, okay, they lose 1.5 points for a score that has been deducted. Then you just go back and then click on the preview to see how this looks like. So, in this case, students just see a text, there's nothing wrong with it, of course, but there are lots of spelling mistakes in it. Here they can click on any word and they can start correcting it. Um, you can see that they clicked on it um, because uh, it, will be, um, it will be shown italic after students click on the word, like this. Of course, we're going to grade Bear into bear. Um, we're going to delete this da. Um, then yelled the police. We alerted. Um, let's leave it like this. And I'm going to click on show answers. So here you can see the scoring weight for the question. This is something I added in the general options from the worksheet. Of course, you have to enable it to see this. Um, I'm doing this because you can see now how many points students score versus the maximum. So this is really something you should enable using the general options. Of course, later on, when you send this to your students, you can still disable it so students don't see the answers yet if they just have to submit it first and then you can return the answers and feedback later on if you want as well. Show answers, yes. So this is how it looks like. So these are actually all the words that they didn't grade. That, uh, that they just left like this because that's good. Also here, bear is also correctly graded. Um, the is removed, which is good. Here, safe and save. This wasn't corrected. Doctor here, a doctor, a vet. Should it, it should be a vet instead of a doctor. Shops should be the comma and so on. So you can see here um, the correct piece of text that your students can see as well. The score is three out of seven because they got some minus points as well. Okay, let's go back. And then you can change mark all words uh, editable. This is how that looks. If students um, just later, they could click on every word and they could change every word they want. Here, if they click on a word that is correct, they will get a message, this word is correct. Canada, this word is correct. So they can really see that this word is something they can change and all the other words are correct. Like this. And then they can click on, on show answers and then again they get the... Um, 
Yeah, the correction. 